In this equation, we're going to distribute the 3 to the x and to the negative 4. So 3 times x is 3x. 3 minus 4 is negative 12, and that equals 22. The next step to isolating the x is to add 12 to both sides. That cancels out the negative 12. And we have 3x on the left side, and then we have 34 on the right side. Final step to isolating x is to divide both sides by 3 because right now 3 is multiplied by x. In order to undo that multiplication of 3, we need to divide by 3. x equals 34 over 3. Here we have y on both sides of the equation. The first thing we need to do is distribute the negative 6 to the y and to the negative 8. So that's 6y plus 48 equals 2y plus 12. Now collect like terms. I'm going to proceed and add 6y. In doing this, the negative 6y cancels out. I have 48 on the left side, 8y on the right, plus 12. Next, I'm going to subtract 12 from both sides to isolate the 8y. So this cancels, and now I have 8y equals 36. Next, divide both sides by 8 to undo the 8 multiplied by the y. And so I'm going to have to scoot over here. So y is 36 over 8, which can be simplified to 18 over 4 by dividing top and bottom by 2. In other words, 36 divided by 2 is 18, and 8 divided by 2 is 4. Here we need to distribute two numbers, the 9 on the left side to the x and the negative 2, and the negative 8 to the 5x and to the 10. So 9x minus 18 equals negative 40x minus 80. Again, we need to collect like terms. So in this case, I'll add 40x to both sides. Oops, we have that 40x here. So here we have 49x minus 18 equals negative 80. Now I'm going to add 18 to both sides to isolate the 49x. The 49x equals negative 62. Now dividing both sides by 49, x equals negative 62 over 49. We need to solve for t1 in the denominator on the left side. What I'm first going to do is multiply and divide the numbers to simplify. 500 over T1, 540 over 290. I'll go a step further before I solve for T1, and that is to eliminate that zero. In other words, dividing top and bottom by 10 to get 54 over 29. To solve for T1, I'm going to cross multiply the fractions. So 54 times T1 and 500 times 29. 54 times T1 equals 500 times 29. 
500 times 29 is 14,500. The next step is to isolate T1. I'm going to divide both sides by 54. 54 cancels here, so T1 equals 14,500 over 54, or if we divide this, 268.52. Here we need to solve for V. What I'll do is put the 7.02 over 1. I did that so you can see the cross multiplication a little bit easier. I'm going to cross multiply 7.02 times V and 1 times 300. So 7.02V equals 300. Now solving for V, divide both sides by 7.02. 7.02. Therefore, V equals 42.7. Here we need to solve for Ti. First, I'm going to multiply the 600 by the 4.2 to simplify. We have 90,000 equals 2,520 times, in parentheses, 90 minus Ti. The next step is to distribute the 2520 to the 90 and the negative Ti. Carrying down the 90,000, Ti equals 54.3.